Paul Alabama Gardener, talking about growing cucumbers and some of the problems you may have. Cucumbers are always uh, one of my favorite vegetables to grow in my garden. I'm always excited uh, when the first cucumbers come in because you can do so many things with them in, in the way of salads and pickles. So in this video, I'm going to talk about cucumbers and I'm going to talk a little bit about a common problem uh, that we have with cucumbers. It's a bacterial wilt, uh, which is affects, affects the uh, health of the plants. And we'll talk a little bit about the two common pests that transmit that wilt. And then I'm going to show you a very easy to make uh, sweet and sour cucumber pickle recipe, something that you can do in just a few minutes and uh, within uh, four to six hours, they're ready to eat. So you can make them in the morning and you can have them ready for supper uh, time uh, today. So at the end of the video then, I will show you a, a, a sandwich, uh, some grilled chicken strips, and using the sweet and sour uh, cucumber pickles that we made this morning. Of course, first thing we got to do, we got to get some seeds in the ground. 18th of March is way too early for me to start seeds outside in the garden, so I'm going to start them in soil blocks as you see me doing here. Now cover the seeds with about a half of an inch of the uh, potting mix. Anytime you plant seeds, always, always water them well to help them get off to a good start. So now it's time to transplant them into my growing area. I'm using a mixture of organic fertilizer made from soybean meal, uh, uh, bone meal, and green sand. As I take this plant out of this tray, I want you to notice the good root system in the soil block. Be sure to always water those plants in. About the time you begin picking cucumbers, you may notice some of your plants are starting to wilt. The leaves will begin droopy. They will become crispy and dry, and the plant is dying. This is a bacterial wilt kind of disease, and the plant is finished. It's not going to produce any cucumbers for you now, so you might as well take it out. There are two pests that spreads the bacterial wilt on cucumbers, and the first one is a striped cucumber beetle. So here's a striped cucumber beetle. It's about a quarter of an inch long, and here's the best thing you can do to it. The second pest is called a spotted cucumber beetle, and it too, about a quarter of an inch long, very much like the other one. These pests are difficult to control, especially if you're trying to grow organic. There are some natural sprays that you can use that'll maybe help a little bit. The best thing to do is plant succession plantings of cucumbers so that you'll continue to have a harvest. In the early spring, before any bees become active, the best thing to do is to hand pollinate your cucumbers. This is a male bloom, and I'm going to carefully tear the petals off of it while holding the base. And this is a female bloom. You'll notice the little cucumber between the bloom and the main stem. So carefully tear the petals off of the male bloom so that we can expose the pollen to the female bloom. Now carefully touch or dab the male bloom pollen stems to the female bloom. If your cucumber plants are producing small cucumbers, but they do not stay on the vine, they wither up and die, then you're probably having a lack of pollination problem. Now let's pick some cucumbers so we can go in the house 
and make a nice refrigerator cucumber pickle. Now you're probably thinking these cucumbers are too large, but that's not going to be the case with this variety called Diva. They're going to be crisp and just like we want them for our pickles. You can make this pickle in the morning and it's ready to eat by evening time. Very simple, easy recipe. You probably have most of these ingredients in your kitchen already. So the first thing we're going to do is uh, peel the cucumbers and split them in half lengthwise. And then, using a spoon, scrape out any of the seeds that are there. So now we're going to thinly slice the cucumbers. My wife is using a mandolin type slicer, but you could do it with a knife. For a single recipe, you'll want to use what I have here, two cups of cucumbers, but we're making multiple recipes, so we're going to use a whole lot more cucumbers in our mixture. Okay, so we're going to make a single recipe and we're going to start with four tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. Now add a half a teaspoon of salt. Add one tablespoon of water. And now we're going to add two tablespoons of white granulated sugar. Now stir it good to get most of the sugar dissolved. Now place your sliced cucumbers in an old jar. We happen to be reusing an old pickle jar here. As you see, she's packing the cucumbers down pretty tight in the jar. And now pour the vinegar, water, sugar, salt mixture into the pickle jar and add enough to so the cucumbers are covered. Now put a lid on it, set it in the refrigerator, and in about six hours they're ready to eat. So let's make us a sandwich using our freshly made cucumber sweet and sour pickles. I have some grilled chicken strips here and we're going to just put pickles on top of it. Yep, I like lots of pickles on my sandwich. That's good. The pickles gives the sandwich just a little bit of a sweetness and the grilled chicken, well, that's always good. So you put the two together and you got a nice sandwich.